What's up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Quentin Flores here. Today what we're going to be talking about is version 2 call tools. Guys, this completely revamped system is a game changing dialer for all of my people that are out there cold calling right now. This is going to be the dialer that you're going to use to dominate 2021. So as always guys, make sure you watch this video all the way through. We're going to be showcasing the entire platform. If you're already using call tools, hit them up. Try to get moved over to version two now because I know within the next couple of months they're going to be throwing out version one. So for all of you guys, it's probably the first video on YouTube that anybody's using to break this thing down, but I want to be able to bring that value to you guys first. Like, subscribe, share. That's all that we ask. We don't run any ads on this show. So, you know, we, we build this thing the good old fashioned way. You know, you like this video, you tell other people to come over here and watch this channel. So, uh, yeah, man, look, I hope you guys get value from this video. Today I have Belle that's going to be breaking this down. Belle's from the Philippines and she works in our administrative team. So, watch this video all the way through and I'll see you guys after the intro. Future and we coming for that ass. You see the leaves fall off, you thought the family tree would die. But the roots run deep below ground zero, that's the vibes. This never dies. No one knows how this all started, they just see us flex online. They play chess, we built the chessboard, every move you make is mine. And I know that's hard to hear, but that's what God is here. Slide my sleeves, read my tats No competition for me in this league, read the stats Too many blue faces, now I never carry cash Got my whole team winning, we're like Charlie Sheen on crack Got the trophies, brought them back, split the glory with the tribe Tell them how we all in first when we cross that finish line every time, yeah, yeah. That's like, gave them something slight Little wisdom for the time, told them how to mark goodbyes I tell the top that you said hi Sorry, miss your call, I've been living too much life Alrighty guys, this is a really good friend of mine She pretty much runs the entire administrative team This is Rubel. Bell, you want to go ahead and introduce yourself to the world? <laughs> hi guys, so I'm Rubel. I'm Q-Systems Manager And um, yeah, right now I'm so excited to share to you the new version call tools so yep. i call it version 2.0 <laughs> yes yes and version 2.0 is really awesome guys i mean they really revamped the system we've been using it now for a couple of weeks let me put my phone on mute and uh, uh it, it's awesome you know so bell actually knows more about it than i do so that that's a good thing that's why i had to have her on this call so um, you know, Bell's going to showcase the whole platform for everybody here that's watching. Make sure you guys pull out your notepad, take some notes. You know, Bell's literally taking time out of her busy day to do this video for you guys. So respect your time and watch this video all the way through. All righty, Bell, let's go ahead and take a look at version two call tools. Our call tools 2.0. Yes. So, <laughs> um... So this is um, the version 2.0. You will see the contact here. PBX, data, reports, integration, and then account. And um, on the account, th th this is where we go ahead and set up um, users for the, for the cold callers or for the agent. Um, what I did is that I set up um, all the username and password, same as the old call tools, because we can still do that. And um, yeah, for, for the users, it looks like this they have they have their own extension like if someone is going to call them um there will be a voice over about um a, about the extension that they're calling like if they are calling um let's just say joey cavazos um they are um there will be a note that the extension will be 103 so if there will be an incoming call um you can there is a way that you can just um, dial the extension of that agent and then it will go to the agent directly. That's so, awesome. um, did version yes. one tools have extensions like that? Um, I, I'm not sure, but yeah, I don't think so. They don't have that, that's, they don't have that, I think. Feature. That's awesome, guys. For all of y'all that are, you know, running this business, one of the things that's good to have is, you know, extensions. It's going to make you look way more professional. So that, that's fire. These are our agents, by the way, that are working the dialing. Yes. And, and um, 
yeah, for the features here um, on the agent account, um, you can definitely set up um, your own password for them or their own password, or there will be an option to like generate a password for their specific account. But I do suggest to use um, your personal or their personal password for um, the, the their call tools. And um, for voicemail, you can definitely set up a voicemail here, a voicemail recording. And um, so that if um, no one answers the phone, it can definitely go right away to the voicemail. And for phones, um, this is where we set up um, like phone numbers for um, the agent account. So that is where we, um, where we can get that phone number here in PBX. So I set up all of six accounts with their own phone numbers. That's awesome. That's awesome. And for the connectors, we use um, same as the old call tools. Um, we have Google Maps, Zillow, Podio, REI Sift Lead, REI Sift Not Interested, REI Sift Wrong Number, DNC Buyer, and List or Listed. Let me tell so, you guys. Too, real fast, Bell, if you don't mind. But what we did with the call tools, guys, and this is some Bell. <laughs> I love you. You worked on this for like a month trying to integrate them, but we finally got the connection. So what I love about this, if you guys seen any of my videos in the past about what we do with REI SIF is we're consistently cleaning and filtering our data. So you know what 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 this is, guys, is let's say you have a person and you click. That this is a disposition. So the user connectors is when you disposition the lead. Also, they're the things that are connected to your dialer as you're calling. So if you want to look at Zillow comps, boom. If you want to look at the front of the house while you're on the phone with the seller, boom, you click Google Maps. If you want to push the lead to your Podio system, then boom, you can click Podio. I know some of you guys are using different CRMs, but we have our REI SIP account, which is where we use to manage our data. When we get somebody who's not interested, but we still connected to the correct person, all they have to do is click on the REI SIF not interested disposition, which I'll show you guys in real time here in a little bit. And it'll update the record that we got the right number on that skip trace cold call, um, on that cold call that we did with the skip tracing. So that's great. That tells us what the quality of our data is. Going ahead, guys, and obviously the other ones are, are self-explanatory, wrong number, then we want to mark that number as wrong number. DNC, then we want to mark that number as DNC. Um, if it's an investor, then we'll mark it as an investor, or if the property is listed, then we'll mark it as listed. They're just dispositions that we use. And we do this to update the data in our database in real time, so we don't have to call eight numbers to reach that same homeowner again when the time comes to follow up with that record. Keep going, though. Yes. Um, yeah. For the follow me calling, I haven't. I haven't tried this because this is very new for um to me. Um. Yeah. I um follow me calling. This is a standard flow when an a when an agent is the call um is the call destination is to look up the first web phone available, and ring that phone. And if no answer is made, then fail over to the agent's first voicemail. So I think um. This is um, still for the voicemail, like, because what we have is that we have like a random um, call for each agent, for all of the agents, that they will, um, if the agent, the one agent will, will be calling for that one agent, and then um, the agent didn't answer, or if the agent is not available, then it will pass through to the available agent. So, um I did not set this up since we have inbound queues in our um, in our system or in our agents. Which I love. That. Honestly, that's genius, Bell, either way, because we want to randomize it. That way, mm -hmm. whoever's available gets the phone call on the incoming call. So that's awesome. So I, I see that those are the account and stuff. We'll go ahead and move on to the integration and the reports and the data and all that good stuff. Um, just, you know, kind of tell us a little bit about these things, Bell. Um, for the IP white listing, this is a specific one or more IP address or IP network that this user must use this platform from. If one or more IP address or IP network is specified, then IP validation will be 
on for this user. So I don't have any idea about the IP, this IP whitelisting. So I haven't checked that honestly, but um, yeah, we can go ahead and check that in the future. <laughs> yeah, we'll go back to all of this. Let's move on to uh, the integrations and the reports and all that good stuff. That's the spicy stuff. <laughs> okay. So for um, the, the, the V2 call tools, they have um, the API documentation. Um, you can just go ahead and um, yeah, set up um, your API token. You can just create on your own and then put the name and the description because um, the one that I made was I put um, Quentin Flores API token, API token. I just um, I just tried it. And um, this is um, the key that we can go ahead and use whenever we integrate them from REI SIFT or Zapier or um, our Podio so, um, or other CRMs. So you just have to create yours and then it will. Um, and once you save it, it will give you um, a key. So this one. I'll, I'll awesome. try one. I'll try one. So we can also set up um, an expiration for this, but I will not set it up since this is just a sample. There you go. So for um, for Alexa or for this agent, this will be her API token. So we can go ahead and use that um, in integrating REI SIFT or Zapier. So for the HTTP request, so before in the old call tools, um, you can enter the HTTP request right away in the connectors. But this one, um, for the REI SIFT connectors, we need to put them here in HTTP request. So the, um, I will show you one of the formulas that we have. So this is from um, REI SIF. And this is um, the formula that we have for, um, for the lead. Because once you, um, once you click the REI SIF lead, um, it will be, the phone number will be tagged correct number in REI SIF. It's super awesome, guys. I mean, it's, it's so needed. If you look at the top, it basically, it, it triggers an automation. For you guys that don't know how to do this, I'm telling y'all, make sure you're taking notes on this uh, and start applying this to your system. Yes. And for the connectors, this is the connectors for um, Google Maps, Zillow, Podio, and um, the REI SIFT um, buttons here. So um, I will show you how, um, how I set up the, the Podio connector. So I put the name here, the description button. Oh, um, we also have um, a customized color here. So you can go ahead and um, choose the color that you want for each button in the connectors. And... Um, so we have to enter the web form here and there will be like um, a formula or yeah for the headers and um, yeah that's it and then click save and you'll be able to connect it to the podio or integrate it to podio it's awesome when you're uploading your leads too bell's going to show you guys how to upload a campaign to this at the end of this video you know, like the way we do it, when we upload our list, we have first name, last name, property address, property city, property state, property zip code. And then we have mailing address, mailing city, mailing street, mailing zip code, et cetera, right? And mm -hmm. so when she pushes the podio button and you want to disposition the lead, it's going to send over the entire description of the lead, which auto populates in our podio. And it triggers what, what all the information that our agent needs from the cold caller pushed into Podio, we have all of the property info, notes and everything. It's just phenomenal. Yes. And um, for the Zapier, um, since we are not using this one anymore, because we have um, the REI SIFT um, integration, 
Um, I think you just have to get this invitation link for the Zapier, and then um, you'll be able to connect it with Cultsos and Zapier. Zapier is good too, because not all the call tools, call tools doesn't integrate to everything. So if you do have a Zapier account, it's phenomenal for you guys to be able to use that to trigger automations in your Podio or CRM or whatever it is that you're using. Now, guys, one of the things that I love the most about this is the reports page. And I think that in reports, you're able to do so much as far as getting detailed reports on what each agent is specifically doing. And you're able to monitor the performance. Let's take a look at reports, Bell. Okay. So this is what we have right now. And um, this is for the live agent report. You'll be able to um, monitor the agent. Um, I set up, um, I customized the color for each, for available, for not available, post call, on a call, break, and lunch. If they are like um, not available for like more than five minutes, you will see this color. I think this is dark pink. <laughs> I'm not sure. So <laughs> if they're on, on a call, you will see this um, brown color or dark brown if they are on a, on a call for more than five minutes. So if they are available um, for more than five minutes, you will see the dark green color. Or if they are available like, um, like three minutes, less than three minutes, you will see this light green color. So you'll be able to um, see um, the agent who's working and who's on a call and who's on break and who's on, um, available. So that's um, the, one of the great thing here in the version two, um, call tools, version 2.0, sorry. Mm -hmm. Version 2.0, version 2. Version 2.0. Live phone calls. This is where you will see, or if you want to monitor Q, um, if you want to hear their calls Q, live calls, this is where you monitor them. <laughs> Typically, you'll see all of your agents let, like here, and pretty much what will happen is you can butt in on their call or critique them live in real time. And, uh, it, it's good, especially if you're trying to monitor the performance of your VA or whoever it is that's using the dialer. Mm -hmm. Yes, and um, you can also choose the agent who you want to monitor with. Um, yeah, just click them and then filter result. And then um, for quick reports, um, this is where you will see the stats. My moment. I think you have to click refresh now. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Q. So yes, um, this is for each campaign. So I think they are working more on high equity campaign um, a while ago. So you will see um, the campaigns that they work on each day. It's awesome. They literally have it all laid out for you guys, and they really simplified the crap out of this. It, it, what's at the bottom? I see name, calls outbound, calls outbound human. What is all that? This Scroll one? down. Oh, there we go. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's just more data for you to be able to understand what you're pumping out, you know? So th this is all really, really awesome stuff. Yes. And the thing here in the V2 call tools, they're called the callers. Look at them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so for the agent perform um, agent performance, this is um, this will provide accumulative reports based on data gathered from agent activity. So um, like for yesterday, um, we will see, or you will see, um, the agent calls, or um, this is for the, the total calls, and this is for the total talk time. So this is where we will see the reports for the total talk time and the total calls. Total outbound and inbound. And the good thing here is that um, we can also um, edit this table if you don't want to see 
this um like connector button clicks email send sms we can definitely set it up for that well you're not seeing any of that stuff that is great mm -hmm. and then click save and this is where you will see also um the disposition of each agent so we have the callback recently sold dnc invalid and then everything is here yes once offer if you want to check the yes once offer or hot lead of your agent every day you can definitely see that here it's here yes once offer the reports tab is imperative guys and the fact that they've really taken the time to like show you your data like to the t is is what's where is what's really going to make you successful and and i gotta really reiterate on this because to me you know, it, it's one thing to just cold call 10,000, 20,000 leads with no direction. It's another thing to actually narrow down the quality of your skip tracing, the, squad, the quality of the leads that you're getting, and, and as well as the quality of the phone calls that are being had. So, I mean, even in reports, I believe that there's also call recordings as well that you can go through. So you can see, like, what agent is fucking shit up and which one is actually doing good. So, I mean, I love it. Mm-hmm. Yes, for the call recording, you just have to go to recent calls. And then um, there is an option of filter result. If you want to check um, per agent, you can definitely do that here um, in filter results. Um, if, for example, mm -hmm. yes, Q? Play one from Joan. I want to hear okay. one. So you can also choose the call disposition. Um, if you want to hear the wrong number, not interested in yes, once offer, it's here. So That's you good. just have to choose yes, once offer, and then you click filter. And then here, um, I don't know how to share my audio. One moment. Oh, you want a headset? Yeah, I have headset, but I'm not sure okay. if I can share that here. In Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, guys. Well, either okay. way, this is where you would go and download them and play them. It's badass. So, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. And the fact yeah. that you can this position, my God, the version one call tools, I had to scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll until I found the person who said, yes, they wanted an offer. And you could have searched for them, but I mean, if you have thousands of data, uh, da da uh, data in, your, in your dialer, it was really difficult to just listen to what I wanted to listen to. So this puts it all right in front of you. This is brand new, by the way. So uh, if you guys are, are new to watching this like period, this type of filtering didn't exist in version one call mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, the additional feature that they have right now is the file URL. You just have to click that one and then you can click copy. There will be a link here. And then if you want to listen to that call, I can go ahead and send it to you right away. So I don't need to download them. Nice. It's just like Vukuru or I forgot the <laughs> name, Vukuru or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, for the SMS conversation, um, this is where you will see all the S because this is part of the new feature of V2 call tools that they have like SMS for each agent and email. And, um, yeah, we can go ahead and try to open one message here. It says, I'm on my way. I don't know if this is for, for us. Is and then you can, <laughs> <laughs> and then you can go ahead and type in your message here and then you can go ahead and click save. Go ahead and send it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, this is um, all the SMS that um, they are receiving each day. So we I have that in. Awesome feature. I wanted to go over this because a lot of you guys are using third party SMS platforms. This is just as like, this is just as great. And let me tell you why this filters guys. So our agents, a lot of times in version one call tools, and this is with Mojo and Zen call your text message will sit in an inbox because your agent is focused on cold calling. 
which means that the messages don't get replied to right away. But guess what? In version two call tools, the conversation filters from agent to agent. So if one agent hasn't followed up with the SMS that they've gotten, it, it, it follows through to the other agents so that they can pick up on the same conversation. So I think that that's probably one of the greatest things, guys, is that there's the SMS filtering involved with this platform as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right, Q. So that's one of the amazing features that they added in V2 call tools. So um, for um, this is for if you want to go ahead and um, pull up um, your reports. So um, for, this is where we go in custom CSV report. So we can go ahead and um, create a report here. Um, what I did is that I, uh, I, I chose call and then I can go ahead and um, add features here in each column or I can go ahead and choose um, filter he here in each column so what is this for specifically though like why 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 would you use this um i use this because i yeah we have the rei shift button right so but um i still um export them so that i can upload them in rei shift because they have like um an update um an updated version in rei shift that you can go ahead and um you can go ahead and upload just the phone number, the phone and phone tags, and you can go ahead and um, upload them in REI SIFT. And once you upload them, it will automatically tag the phone number in REI SIFT. So um, I just do this because um, some of the agents, you know, um, for for got to like click on the REI SIFT button. Oh, I got, got you. yes. <laughs> So this is for an additional um, phone tagging in REI SIFT because we can definitely do, um, we can just upload just the phone number, upload additional um, like phone number and then um, add the tagging for each of the phone numbers. So that's why I need to upload them or export them, I'm sorry. So this is where we export data. Or really report. data hygiene. You know, to, to summarize what Bell just said, it's data hygiene. It's keeping everything organized and clean when our agents aren't doing it 1,000%. Okay. So I saw that there were a few other things that they added as well, like the goals tab and the reports and all of that. Guys, I'd love for you all to check that out. I believe you can set goals for your team. Um, but let's go ahead and move on to data. Data. Okay. So this is where we upload leads. So I am going to show you how to upload data here in V2 call tools. Now so for all guys that turned y'all off in version one call tools, this was something that like really sucked for a lot of people because you had like, when you send a list out to get skip traced, what happens, Bell? It literally like you, you, you get all of these phone numbers in five to 10 different columns, right? And yes. so you're familiar with version one call tools. You had to get a specific... I believe, what, what is it called? The the thing? The, the master phone list. Yes, it, it's that mm -hmm. you have to get like this master phone list code and put this into the spreadsheet, which would mm -hmm. compile all the phone numbers into one column. The thing that sucked about that was a lot of people got turned off on that. So they completely got rid of that for version two call tools. So guys, uh, I'll let Belle take, take, uh, take the wing on this so she can show you guys. Uh, what, 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 like what the, the new update that was thrown in on why this is just so easy compared to what it was like before. So this is the greatest update that, that they have. Um, we don't need to create like a master phone list. We just need to like um, get all the name, first name, last name, property, address, city, state, and zip. And then the, um, if you have like, one or 20 phone numbers, you can definitely um, upload them here in the V2 call tools. So um, you can go ahead and um, click upload contacts and then upload file. And then click the 
click or drop and drag um, the data that you're going to upload. So for this one, um, we have this, I'm not going to use this county, sorry for that. Um, we have the first name, last name, address, city, state, zip. We have the email here. And then the list, you just have to map them. And then for the phone number, we have phone one, two, three. Oh, so you're, you're basically just mapping the fields now. Yes. God, I cannot tell you guys how much that makes things easier. <laughs> yes, this is much easier. So, so if you have columns mm -hmm. in case, you know, there, there's a phone number that is not reflected in our system because it's only showing six in this one column, but what if there's 10 in another column? So you want to mark those there as the phone number columns as well. So you capture all of the phone numbers. Exactly. And if you have like um, 20 phone numbers, it will appear here on the left side that you have like 20 phone numbers. And then um, you can just um, create new contact field here, like phone number. Because we have like 15 phone numbers right now. So phone number 16. One moment. I'll show it to you first that we have like 15 phone numbers there 15 so i'm going to add the 16th phone number and then i'll click phone number and then click save so once you check once i check it there is like the 16 phone number it's here sorry it's here phone number 16. Nice. so yes we, we can definitely add um a field here if you want to add um a field in the con um once you upload a phone um the data or the leads sorry you're good you're good <laughs> For everybody that know, that's watching this video, I want y'all to know this. It's 12.36 in the morning where I'm at. Normally, Belle's asleep right now, guys. So y'all make sure you show her some love. She's literally taking time out of her day to showcase this because, uh, I mean, you know, she's awesome. So we're thankful to have her. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Q. Thank you for this. <laughs> So um, for the tagging, uh, we um, this is um, the new feature of call tools, V2 call tools. You, we can now, this is just like REI SIFT. <laughs> we can now go ahead and create um, tag um, SAD4D. Nice. April. So I will put the, the, um, the month that I uploaded um, the data. So... SA D4D April 2021, and then click save. This yeah. makes it so easy for you guys to track your stuff. You know, I think Tyler talks about these four W's, right? He says, when you pulled it, where did you pulled it? Um, where is it going? What do you plan on doing with it? It's something like that. But the point is, is that no matter what, whenever you pull data, whenever you skip trace data, you have to be able to rename that file. The name of the list, um, the, the date that you pulled it. So that way, the second time you pull it and you find new records, you can sift through that data. That's a whole other video though. Let keep going, Bill. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And then once you create a tag, oh, by the way, we also have here a feature, um, to select duplicate match setting for settings for this upload. So, um, it can detect, I think this is for the duplicate, how they detect um that this is a duplicate um lead um there's an option here like for the first and last name and address field so once they see that um there are like two same with first name last name and address field it will be tagged as duplicate right away so um you can definitely um yeah click that one or choose that one here 
but for us we don't use any of that so because it's here um what do we do with duplicate we find we merge it so we have um three option merge overwrite and reject Merging is basically going to just, uh, they're going to duplicate each other out. So they become negatives, which is great, which means that you don't add the same lead in. And, and that, that's the best, but the data will be merged versus it being duplicated. Like in the previous call tools, if you uploaded the same list two times, they would duplicate the records. Yes. So then, um, now, mm -hmm. so I'll click upload now. So it's here. New contact is 109. There. So this is the FDNC flag. Phone number errors. You will see that here in view stats. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's how you upload a list, guys. I mean, I tell you, it's, it's so easy. It's so easy. And I think that, that that's super awesome, too. Mm-hmm. What are the so, other we're looking at? I saw dispositions and all of that. What is all of that? Oh, um, this is the disposition that I set for um the agents or for the called callers. Wrong number, hang up voicemail. And we can also um yes, um you can go ahead and set up an order for them. Nice. So the way she has it set up basically is top all the way to the bottom, guys. This is super dope. And basically the, where the disposition is, is when you're marking that number as whatever it is when you got on the call. That way it updates it in your CRM. Mm -hmm. Go back up to the top, though. Go back into data. And you can create dispositions as well. What's automations? For the automations... It triggers responses. Um, this is for the connectors for REI SIFT. Gotcha. So this is where you guys are going to be able to set up the connectors to whatever it is that you're using with your CRMs and whatnot. And this will tell you the, the automation triggers that are happening in real time. What is buckets too? I looked at the data thing and I saw buckets. What is that? That's the campaign or oh. that's the list. Sorry, that's the list. Like for high equity, that's... They call it bucket. Can you? Can we take a look at it? I'm um, sure. Q. So this is our buckets right now. So Basically, we have buckets replaced campaigns from Call Tools One. This is Call Tools Two, correct? Yes. Um, we call it list before, but right now they call it bucket. Okay, got it. Got it. So sorry. I like that better. <laughs> the top. Buckets are a simple data management tool which allow you to push contact data by contact update, API, sales funnel, rule, or automation. So these bucket contacts can then be popped off and called by a campaign. Buckets are not meant as the primary campaign data targeting tool. See auto buckets for that, but more as a way to set data aside for use in the future. So um, we have multiple buckets created for our system because we're constantly filtering, filtering through data as we're cold calling it. So I would recommend that you guys come in here when you're uploading your list and you start creating these buckets. Mm -hmm. Go on up to, to the top again, Bell. Let's go to PBX. And PBX is basically where the dialer is going to like happen, right? Like this is where the dialer stuff goes down. Um, this is some of the phone numbers of the agents. So right now, um, what do we have for destination? We set it up for inbound queue since we're working on RVM or ringless voicemail. Got it. And you can yes. edit those things and change the queue as well wherever you want it to go. You can set it up to go to their voicemail. You can set it up so that it falls over to another agent. Uh, basically, what this is, is you can set up the destination for the call. So this is awesome. Mm-hmm. So right now, the destination that we have is inbound queues. Which randomizes it. So that way, when one call comes in, everybody gets notified. And the first person that can answer, answers the phone. 
Previously, if you wanted to get inbound calls using RVM, this is another gold, like this is just straight up gold. Previously, if you wanted to use RVM, you would have had to just had one dialer sitting on idle. And, and when, when the RVM gets triggered and they call back, then that number would have to fall over to the dialer, right? And then you would answer. So this way, your, 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 your cold caller, they can be in an outbound queue while getting an inbound queue at the same time. So while they're taking calls on the outbound, they're getting inbound calls, which is great because that keeps the momentum going and that keeps the level of productivity extremely high so that way you guys can plow through your leads. Yes, exactly. They can go ahead and maximize all the leads that are incoming and outgoing. So for all both. Of SMS conversations popping off. I mean, I'm telling you guys, this is just game changing stuff here. Mm -hmm. So um, for the audio files, um, this is where you can go ahead and set up um, for your voicemail. Um, you have one here, Q. So this is from RVM. I uploaded it here so that whenever um, there are no available agents or they're on a call, all of them, all six of them, it will go to um, the voicemail right away. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And um, we have, I think um, they have um, additional feature here, hold music groups. We can go ahead and create our um, own hold music. <laughs> Wait a minute, guys, like the Jeopardy sound. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we can definitely create that, but I haven't worked on that yet. We, so, we're going um, to go ahead and add the Jeopardy sound later. So be ready for it. If you try calling one of our agents, because we just showed the whole world our phone numbers. <laughs> Don't worry, we filter them, okay? So it is what it is. But what is um, the IVR thing? So for the IVR... Um, Th this is some a touch tone interactive prompts. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Like, um, for example, um, if you call the, uh, one of the phone numbers here, it will say Quentin Flores calling. Like that. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> right. I don't like that. We're not going to set that up. That, that not that's pro uh, robotic. So, guys, <laughs> you know, PBX is badass. This is where you're really going to be able to customize the phone numbers, um, your voicemails. Everything in there is just, you can even create time conditions, like when you want the dialer to get shut off, et cetera. It's pretty much all here. You can set up your own personalized voicemail. We have all of our agents do that. So, you know, I'll let you guys go ahead and play around with this stuff later. Let's move to contact center. Which oh, I, think um, I just, I just want to share um, with you guys about the external phone number. Um, this is um, a preset PBX destination if you want to transfer the calls, like if there are no available agent and someone will, will call um, one of the phone numbers here, it will go directly to you, just like call rail queue. Uh -huh. So um, mm -hmm, you will receive the call. We can go ahead and set it up for you. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so. So um, right now we're going to the contact center. So this is where we can see campaigns, queues, callback queues, voicemail queues, um, campaign agents, queue agents, and then the agent statuses, script templates, and email templates. So this is where we can go ahead um, and upload the agent script. Um, I can um, set up um, SMS templates here and email templates. Let's check them out. I don't know if we have any of our scripts in there, do we? No, right? No, no, no. We don't have any um, any scripts here. It's good for you guys that are just starting out. You know, you want to upload your script. If you do that, that way your agent can have access to it in case they get hit with a call that they've never experienced before. So, you know, uh, it, it, it's badass, y'all. Make sure that you guys maximize that because one of your callers could get sidetracked and unless they have a script in front of them, they may not know how to respond. So, contact center is fired. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, as of now, um, we don't have um, any template yet for the SMS, but I will definitely add them here, <laughs> our yeah. templates in, in Smarter Contact. We double up, so we use Smarter Contact. You know, we're still using a third-party SMS platform, um, and, and, you know, it's because we do massive SMS, and that's just a strict 
SMS marketing tool. But guys, you know, this is Call Tools version two. I hope y'all got value from this. You know, I wasn't expecting Bella to go in depth the way that she did, but I'm glad that she did because we're going to need this to train our other agents on how to use this. <laughs> yes, so definitely. Guys, hand this off to your team um, of either virtual assistants or in-house cold callers. Maximize version two call tools. Um, Bella, can you stop sharing your screen real fast? Okay. Oh, um, Q, I need to show them how to set up um, campaigns. Oh, yeah. Think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. One last thing. Let, let's get it. Let's get it. So for this one, um, yeah, we had a training with um, with call tools like um, twice, and then they set up um, a default campaign, and I think they they will have that too in their call tools. So um, what I did is that I asked them um, the things that we need to set up in each campaign. So. Um, they set it up for us and then um, what I'm doing right now is that I just copy this campaign, the settings, just the settings and then um, I and then I will go ahead and um, add the bucket or the list that um, we are going to set up for. It's the D4D the D4D. one, right? Yeah, it's for the nice. D4D. So in other words, guys, we don't know how to set it up. You can always just have call tools set it up for you and then just copy and paste the settings and boom, create the... Create yes, the exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. So um, yeah, call tools, I think um, they are available. Um, I, I'm not sure if 24-7, um, they can go ahead and chat support here. Just click on the, the question mark, mark icon here and then they can... Go ahead and chat them there. I think they are not available right now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, f um, since we had set up a bucket a while ago, uh, we showed we showed them that there are like buckets here in the data. So um, we have that option here in targeting. So we have the bucket. I ju I'll just choose um, the bucket that we will work on. So SAD4D. And um, everything has been set up here since I just copied um, the settings. And then I go to members. I'm oh, sorry. Let's, let's save it first. It's here. We have D4D 1,206 phone numbers. So um, I, I'll will, I will go back to settings and add members. So all agents are here. But, you know, just to make sure, I'll just add them. And then for the connectors, um, we you need to add the connectors. Oh my God, this is so dope. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, and it's done. So campaign is now ready. So your call caller can go ahead and make calls. <laughs> Man, that was awesome. You guys saw how she set that up. She literally added all of the agents. If you wanted to restrict an agent from working the campaign, then simply don't add them. If you didn't want to add a disposition or allow for them to, let's say, look up Zillow, you, you don't have to add that either. And then you can set up the campaign so that it can be used with the agent that you want it to be used by. Let's say you have one agent who speaks extreme Spanish, right? And you're going to call a lead that's filled with you know, uh, Spanish speaker leads, right? Then that way you can assign only that campaign to him with the same dispositions that he needs. Um, phenomenal, phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, and that's one of the great features here too um, in V2 call tools that um, the agent, for example, um, there are, there is an agent who is a Spanish speaker and then um, they want to transfer that call if they got a call from a Spanish speaker, they can definitely transfer to that call to um, the Spanish speaker agent right away. So yeah. um, we can transfer calls here in V2 call tools. The way it had to be done before, the agent would have had to hand dial the other agent's call tools number and then forward that call over to that agent. With this new platform, you can literally just pass that call along to the agent who speaks Spanish in real time. So guys, there's so much more to learn from this. I'll probably do a full blown series on this, but I wanted to do this deep dive video for you guys so that y'all can know what to expect. 
when 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 transferring over to version two call tools if you haven't signed up with call tools yet there is a link in the description below make sure you click that link it's calltools.com slash ground zero and and once you click that link guys you will you'll pretty much uh you'll be able to get the dialer for i believe 25 26 dollars off saving yourself about i think 500 dollars a month uh 500 dollars a year on the dialer you'll get it at 96 dollars a month a 10 line dialer that has all of these features I don't know a single dialer in the game that is doing this, guys. So, you know, I've been rocking with call tools for a minute. I'm glad I stuck it through to be able to see this. Our business is booming right now because of this new dialer. So make sure you guys click the link below. Y'all make sure you show Bell some love too. Bell, dude, thank you so much for being in this video and really helping us out. Thank you so much, Q. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys. As always, like, subscribe, share, and tune into the next video. I'll see y'all later. Bye. I want to check. Hey guys, if you like this video, go on and head over to my Instagram where I post exclusive content to help you grow your business.